वट इज अप गाइज कैसे हो आप लोग सो इट्स बीन क्वाइट अ फ्यू डेज दैट आई हैव गॉट अ पैकेज फ्रॉम रॉयल एनफील्ड नाउ दिस पैकेज पॉसिबली कंटेन्स सम इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्सेसरीज विच दे आर ऑफरिंग फॉर द न्यू रॉयल एनफील्ड हिमालयन आई वॉज वॉन्टिंग टू ओपन दिस पैकेज फॉर द लास्ट फ्यू डेज बट यू नो द वेदर वॉज सो कोल्ड आई थॉट इवन इफ आई ओपन द पैकेज वट विल आई डू विद द स्टाफ बिकॉज इट वॉज नॉट द राइट टाइप ऑफ कंडीशंस टू राइड इन सो फॉगी इन डेली एन सी आर डैट आई डेंट यू नो रियली मस्टर ऑफ द करेज टू कम आउट एंड ओपन दिस होल पैकेज एंड गो फॉर अ राइड बट एनी वेज टूडे आई थिंक इज द राइट डे सो दिस इज द पैकेज दैट वी हैव लेट्स ट्राई एंड ओपन दिस अप एंड सी वट वी हैव हेयर नाउ दिस थिंग इज प्रॉपरली पैक बिकॉज इट केम डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम चेन्नई सो let's see finally the box is open now let me give you that complete view of what's inside so this is the first look inside the package and what do you see here guys the pannier system let's open it up we already by the way have the uh, pannier frames on the himalayan the camet white cross spoke wheel version that i have parked in the basement so i think fitting up these panniers is going to make things very easy that's the first pannier first question that comes to my mind will it also fit my tiger <laughs> the second pannier oh the box is open let's pull it out like this and place it here and the top box so this is how the complete kit looks like the two panniers with the royal enfield branding and of course the top box so i think we are all set for a ride now so basically now i am just going down to the basement i have already put on the panniers uh, the process is very simple nothing you know great about it i just have the top box with me so we'll put this i actually have to go to the uh, royal enfield showroom in greater noida to get one more accessory installed it's not a big thing but you know i'm just going there because I haven't ridden the bike for some time so let's go on the bike. I never thought that uh, getting the Himalayan in my garage would make me ignore the tiger but actually that is happening for the past 2 3 weeks partly because of the cold and you know simply not getting enough opportunities to ride but hey you see both of them. Here is our tiger with the helmet and there just behind the pillar I parked the Himalayan. Now this is how the complete setup looks like. This is the panier setup and the top box as well installed on this machine i think this is all set now so let's close it and lock it up yeah simple the winter sun is so comforting in the evenings it's 4:15 pm and i'm just loving this feel of getting on the motorcycle after a good 10 days just a 4 or 5 km thing to reach the showroom and get the touring mirrors installed so let's see what these mirrors are all about ek minute lagani hai andar so one more accessory that came for me in the pannier boxes was the touring mirrors these are the mirrors that are they are coming as stock on the motorcycle these are the stock mirrors the touring mirrors look like this they have a specific badging of royal enfield on the rear uh i am told that these are of better quality a uh, superior quality because this is almost 7000 rupees for this sort of a mirror i am also told by what's your name yaar ashish i am also told by ashish who works at the royal enfield great and order showroom that these perform much better in night दे हैव डन समथिंग हेयर ना इसमें इसमें क्या चेंज है ये जो ये जो जॉइंट बना है एडजस्ट कर सकते हो और ये काफी सॉलिड है इसका तो वाइब्रेट नहीं करते सो बेसिकली लेस वाइब्रेशन है ना सो इन द स्टैंडर्ड मिरर यू सी दिस एज वन पीस दिस बेंड इज जस्ट वन पीस ऑफ मेटल इन दी स्टोरिंग मिरर्स दे हैव डन समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा टू मे बी गिव इट एडिशनल स्ट्रेंथ और एन एंगल ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट एज वेल if you can loosen the screw then you can change the angle of these mirrors yahan pe there is additional adjustability okay aur stock wala ye hai simple by the way i was making a calculation of you know the 
worth of all the accessories that are there on this Kamet white Himalayan with the cross spoke wheels. Excluding the price of the cross spoke wheels, which is not yet revealed, there are around accessories worth eighty seven thousand two hundred rupees on this machine. So I'll be giving you a detailed walkthrough of what all we have here. Let's get the mirrors installed and. I'll you know give all the details around it. So this is how the storing mirrors look once they are installed. First impressions, uh, I think the quality looks much more sturdier, much more premium. I somehow feel that the glare on these mirrors is comparatively less. This is something that you will feel when you sit on the bike and experience it yourself. पीछे करूँ क्या? And most importantly, these. will not vibrate as much as the stock mirrors so just got the touring mirrors installed as you saw uh, you heard my initial impressions but as promised i thought i'll give you a rundown of all the accessories that i have gotten installed on this Camet white Himalayan with the cross spoke wheels. So to start off with, uh, I would like to tell you that there are ten accessories on this Himalayan, and let me put it on the center stand, which in itself is a little bit of a task. Yes, ten accessories on the Himalayan that you are seeing in front of you, the Camet white color, and. these ten accessories cost a whopping 82000 rupees now if you are a owner of the new himalayan or are planning to buy one pretty soon obviously you are not going to buy all these accessories in one go spending 82000 rupees on a motorcycle that costs around 3.5 3.6 lakhs on road for even its top most variant that seems a lot of money i in fact have grouped these ten accessories into three major groups in which you might want to you know buy all these accessories there is a set of accessories that you would need on day 1 before getting your bike out on the road from the dealership then there is a set of accessories that you would possibly want to get in the next 15 20 days when you get an understanding of the motorcycle when you you know establish that connection with the bike and then there is a third phase of buying accessories which is something that could be an additional thing optional that you might want to buy you might not want to buy and meanwhile you have these dogs here so anyways now while i am making this video i know that getting your hands on all these accessories at once or even one of them right now is proving out to be challenging because right now as we stand in the third week of january uh, these accessories are not readily available to order online or or in any of the stores or dealerships around you but what i'm trying to do is give you a you know a guide in terms of how you can buy them when they become available let's talk about phase 1 day 1 accessories in this category i have listed four accessories number 1 is the radiator guard now 21 inch front wheel on this himalayan really exu on to take on all sorts of terrains i would say if i am getting this himalayan on day 1 i would just want to take it off roads and feel how this plush suspension feels like because this is a super capable motorcycle so you would actually want to try out different things when you get this machine home so before doing and trying out such things getting a radiator guard is very important because this beautiful 21 inch front wheel is going to throw up all the small stones that you encounter on the off road patches and direct them directly towards the radiator now the motorcycle by default comes in with a plastic radiator guard but this is a amazing machine that you have spent your hard earned money on so i would recommend getting this solid metallic radiator guard which will ensure that the radiator fins remain protected and there is no scenario of a coolant leaking or the radiator fins getting damaged cost of this radiator guard that i have on the himalayan this is a silver radiator guard This comes in at one thousand nine hundred fifty rupees, so approx two thousand rupees. The second accessory that you should get on day one is this touring windshield. The stock windshield on the Himalayan is pretty small, in my opinion. The touring windshield, on the other hand, is ten centimeter taller than the stock windshield. Now, is this ten centimeter enough or not? That might be, you know, dependent on your particular height. What is the height of the rider? How you sit on the motorcycle? 
for me at 5 feet 11 inches this does not feel like the perfect windshield i feel this should have been a little broader but at the same time this is much better than the stock windshield getting this on day 1 will ensure that you you know start enjoying your rides otherwise there is a lot of wind blast with the stock windshield and just for the record the price of this windshield is almost 4000 rupees to be precise 3950 the third day one accessory that i think you should get is something that might not resonate with all of you but i feel this is very important considering this is a touring mode cycle and i know a lot of people who took the delivery of the himalayan on day one directly rode to manali or some place in uttarakhand just to get the feel of the motorcycle i know there are people like that now if you want to do that comfortably you would definitely have some luggage and i'm not advising you to get this whole pannier system on day one because this is a huge investment but what you can do at the minimum is get the pannier rails installed now these pannier rails will ensure that you can mount any of your traditional saddle bags something from a rhinox something from a yatera very easily on this pillion seat and you know carry the luggage that you need on the long ride so this sort of a pannier rail from royal enfield comes in at a price tag of again 3950 rupees and the last accessory that i would recommend on day 1 i am putting it in day 1 because i found this to be absolutely amazing compared to the stock seat that you get on the motorcycle is these touring seats now these touring seats what do i say i think these are so much more comfortable than the stock seat that you get on the new himalayan i fortunately got a chance to ride on the stock seat of this new himalayan for about 2 weeks when the motorcycle was launched in the first week of november so i rode it uh, you know to uttarakhand to different places in that area and while the motorcycle the geometry everything just you know urges you to take on all those long trips the seat the stock seat uh, sometimes feels a little you know uh, uncomfortable to say the least now everybody's backside is designed in a different way <laughs> my uh, bum kind of didn't feel very comfortable on the stock seat after about 300 400 kilometers i used to feel some sort of numbness but getting these touring seats installed has changed everything they have so much more uh, cushioning they feel so much more good these seats obviously come in as two separate seats one for the rider one for the pillion and in total these two seats cost around 8400 rupees now i know this is a big investment 8400 to replace that stock seat and get these touring seats on day 1 but trust me once you experience these seats there is no going back and and the seat especially for the pillion is something your better half would absolutely love especially if you want to get to this sort of a setup with the panniers and the top box because this will make her feel so comfortable on the long rides so to sum it all these four things are something that i would recommend to get installed on day 1 and the total cost is huge 18000 rupees but trust me these are things that you will absolutely love if you're getting the himalayan moving on now let's talk about the second set of accessories that you can buy maybe around 15 days after getting your motorcycle home the first thing is the headlight grill it a obviously enhances the look of the motorcycle from the front and b gives that protection to the headlight apart from the headlight grill another thing that you can buy in the second phase is the top box mounting rack or plate whatever you want to call it uh this is very much required even if you are not buying the top box up front because this can be used to tie on your one of your bags on the long trips that you want to do even if you are not buying this complete pannier setup which most people don't want to spend money on and i know a set of people who do not like the hard luggage systems as well so they can still go ahead and mount their saddle bags and with the top box rack you can mount a big uh, tail bag as well and you know use rock straps or bungees and ensure that you take all the luggage that you need on the long ride cost of the headlight grill is again 3950 rupees i think this is a sweet number that ari has decided for most of its accessories and cost of the top box mounting rack is 2450 rupees so I think the pricing of the rack is amazing. If you go into the market, I don't think you will get a rack cheaper than 2450 even if you look at any third party manufacturers who are creating this sort of stuff for the Himalayan. 
So I think this is a steel deal that you should definitely get. And now let's talk about the third set of accessories because these are the accessories that cost a lion's share of the 82,000 rupees that I mentioned at the start of the video. Do you need these accessories? It can be optional. It can be something that you really want depending on your riding style and your preferences. This system as a whole, the pannier box and the top box can be bought in two phases as well. You can buy the top box separately. Uh, this obviously will give the support to your better half if she intends to join you on rides and if you are lucky enough to have that privilege with you. So uh, yeah, getting the top box will be great. But there is one issue with the top box that I just observed is that although Ari says that you can fit in a helmet, my adventure touring helmet is not fitting inside it because of the beak. Maybe if I remove the beak, the lid will close. But right now, the lid is not closing. The top box, by the way, costs around 23,000 rupees, 23,250. So again, a significant investment. See, this is more than the day one set of accessories that I recommended, which was costing in at around 18,000 rupees. Next, if you really want to, you know, present yourself as the next big adventure tourer or you really appreciate or need hard cases for your long rides then get the panniers because by this time you would have already gotten the pannier rails installed to support your saddlebags and all uh, if you are going on a pure road trip then getting these panniers makes a lot of sense uh, especially considering the price that they come at these panniers cost around 32,000 rupees for the set and obviously they have their own advantages they also have their own disadvantages being a hard luggage system so it's up to you whether you want to get these or not so 32 odd thousand for the pannier boxes 23,000 for the top box and the last thing that is there on the bike and maybe you can look at it at a later stage like this stuff like these stuff is the touring mirrors now i got these touring mirrors like you saw in the video earlier installed 7,000 rupees for these mirrors, I think it's a little on the higher side. Anything in that 4,000 range should have been worth it. I don't know why Ari has priced the accessories a little bit on the higher side. Maybe they are playing the game a little aggressively this time around. But the quality of the mirrors is much better than the stock mirrors as I already told in the video. So these are all the accessories that I wanted to talk about in this video. Now you have a fair idea of how I have kitted up this Kamet White Himalayan with the cross spoke wheels uh, to take on almost all types of long tours. This is like fully specked out. But everything being said, I think there is one thing that we still don't know the price of is the cross spoke wheels that are there on the Himalayan. I have got the privilege of riding this machine with this sort of a setup. I don't know when these are coming. I don't know what the price is going to be. My hunch says it's going to be anything between 30 to 40,000 rupees. So if you're planning to get all these 82,000 plus say factor in around 30, 35, 40,000. So you are looking at 1.2 lakhs worth accessories on a motorcycle that costs almost 3.5 lakhs. 33% uh, of the cost going in accessories. Is it wise? I don't know. Uh, I would maybe skip these boxes and get the cross spoke wheels first and choose my accessories wisely. But anyways, I thought of giving you all this rundown of the accessories uh, so that when they are available, you can make your decision in a much more structured manner and phase out your purchasing process. Because you know what happens when we get the bike home, we get on the website and third party website, start scrolling and finding accessories. And that just keeps on going. Uh, that in itself is so much fun. I have taken so many, you know, months to kit out my Tiger and all the previous motorcycles that I have owned. So it's an amazing process. Let me know if you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of these accessories, drop in your comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.